Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In today's episode, we'll be taking a look at RC Inflator, an affordable JS alternative to Oxford Inflator by Sonux. If you're not familiar with Oxford Inflator, it's a now legendary plugin that allows you to increase loudness without unwanted pumping effects. It adds richness, fullness, character, and warmth without compromising the original sound and without ruining dynamics. Oxford Inflator can be purchased from Sonux for about 150 US dollars as of the filming of this video. RC Inflator, on the other hand, is freely available through Repack. Click the link above if you'd like to learn more about installing and using Repack to expand Reaper's capabilities. As I've read through the Reaper forum thread about RC Inflator, I've learned that this is a perfect null for Oxford Inflator, meaning that one-to-one -one settings effectively cancel each other out with phase inversion. Again, what this means in English is that you can have the same performance as Oxford Inflator at no cost. There is one caveat, RC Inflator doesn't currently include the band splitter function, but according to a recent post on the thread, it looks like the band splitter function will be implemented in the very near future. Let's take a look. The project I've got open is my band, A Little Hostel's cover of Royals. If I take a look at the master track, you can see that I've currently got several plugins on here, but they're all disabled with the exception of the loudness meter. Let's take a quick listen to this chorus, and we'll also pay attention to the loudness meter. And without the mastering plugins engaged, we're averaging about minus 14.7 loops. Let's see if we can increase that by adding RC Inflator. In order to install RC Inflator, you'll have to add a repository to Repack. I assume you've already watched the video and have Repack installed. We'll go to Extensions, Repack, and Import Repositories. At this point, you'll paste in the repository, which I've added a link in the description, and click OK. Upon clicking OK, Repack will update its repositories. Then you can go to Extensions, Repack, and Browse Packages. In the filter, search for Inflator, and you'll see two variants. There's RC Inflator and RC Inflator Oxford Edition. We'll be focusing on the Oxford Edition. Right-click the package and choose Install, and then click Apply. And once it's installed, you can add RC Inflator to any track you desire. We'll add this to our master track. And I'll be sure to place this before my loudness meter. Let's go ahead and break out the loudness meter so we can see both of these at the same time. Now, I've never actually used Oxford Inflator, so I checked Sonox's manual to see what their recommended approach is for using the plugin. They recommend starting with the input at zero and the output at zero, the effect at 100%, and the curve at its default midpoint. The curve parameter has an interesting effect on both the perceived loudness and the tonal character. We'll leave clip set to on to help prevent our master from going over zero, and let's take a listen to the track again in its current setting. That most definitely gave us a boost in our loudness. We're now at minus 11.5, whereas previously we were at minus 14.7. Let's play that same portion of music again, and this time I'll adjust the curve as it's playing. Take a listen and see if you can pick up what it's doing to the sound. It seems like with the curve, as I moved further towards the left, the volume was reduced, but also it was adding some interesting saturation and distortion to the sound. There's not really a right or wrong setting for the curve, it's just whatever you like. I'll take that back to its midpoint, and now let's adjust the effect and take a listen to the difference it makes.
It seems like even a small amount of the effects still has a tremendous effect on the sound. We'll leave this at about 35%. I'll play that same clip again and I'll toggle the effect on and off. We'll start with it off and just watch for the check mark to appear to tell when it's turned back on. I think that sounds pretty good. As you could hopefully hear, RC Inflator is most definitely an affordable alternative to Oxford Inflator. It helped me to easily increase the perceived loudness of a mix in progress, and also imparted some interesting character to the sound. Check it out on Repack today and see what it can do to improve your projects. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee, Patreon, or Super Thanks below. Don't forget to check out my drum editing and reaper course on ProMix Academy, and also click the Discord link in the description to engage with other active reaper users. We'll see you next time. RC Inflator by RC Jack H. R RC Jack? Not sure how to say that. Contributions from Psyche? 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 And Beth Harmon. I can pronounce Beth Harmon. I just won't mention the names because I'll just get them wrong anyway.